mentioned that he might be shaving the beard off soon because it's going to irritate. The baseball players are so superstitious, are you not worried about that? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not <laughs> the no, Samson effect. No, you think I no, might I don't be a good move so. on this part, maybe? It might not hurt things, <laughs> you know. But well, he can do what he wants to do. He's fine. Hey, Mike, can you talk about what you guys need to do to what you guys did on the last road trip? Uh, went fine. <laughs> that would be it in a nutshell. <laughs> I don't know. We gotta play. You know, gotta get lucky. Gotta hit some big shots. Uh, gotta play really well. Washington's gonna be a big test for us. I mean, they're they're good. They're rolling. They haven't gotten beat at home in ten games. So, you know, hardly anybody goes in there and wins, and uh, it's gonna be very hard to do. At some point on this trip, you might be able to solidify your spot and this coaching staff in Vegas to go to college also. Since we're not trying to make you. If that does happen on this trip, does is it is it something you look? Talk about superstition. No, I mean, hey, <laughs> go ahead. Three more wins, you know. I mean, is it something that that, that you look forward to? Sure, it is, sure, it is. It's an honor to be able to uh, one to have the best or you know, but that's the second best record in the league since Dallas can go. Uh, and also be an honor to be able to coach in that. It'd be fun. It'd be, it's a great weekend, and you know. Since basketball is probably the, the best thing I like to do, why wouldn't I like to do that? So I think all the coaches, and hopefully we have three or four players going up there, and uh, uh, it would be a, an unbelievable weekend. It'd be great. Would you look at it more because you'll have maybe three players actually on the team, possibly? Look at it, what that you have maybe three guys. Hopefully we do. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean that'd be great. Uh, they deserve it, and hopefully it works out for them. Talked to last night. Just realistic, what are your chances? Kind of like a, kind of well, realistically, uh, you know, if I'm just going, you know, should he or shouldn't he? Yeah, sure. I, I have no idea. I mean, it's out. I, I can't vote for my own guys, and so it depends on the other coaches. And uh, uh, they all seem to like Sean, you know. So hopefully, he's got a great chance. As Amari, as Steve. Kind of joked around last week. Really liked the Colts because they were like you guys. Well, somebody, you know, I was on PTI though, and they, didn't see, they even said, oh, you guys like the Colts, the big high powered offense, but in the end, well, in the end, they're doing pretty well. So, you know, I, I, and I told them, I said, oh, we are compared to the Colts. That would be great for me. And that's why I had a little friendly wager on the side with my brother. So. Your brother? Yeah, I was just, play, just playing around. Is he paid yet? Huh? Did he paid up? Oh, he never paid. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you've gotten some breaks along the way, but there was a bad break. You come back and you win that game against the Wizards. That's two wins. You throw up in the next couple games. You know, you know one game against the Nuts. Uh, Dirk doesn't make, doesn't make that shot. We got about 30 in a row. What's that? <laughs> and Dirk doesn't make that shot. We got about. You know what you'd actually have? No. You'd have. You'd be going for number 33. Yeah. I count of a 33. Is that right? In, in uh, tying the record. And we won't put in the one where LB misses the layup. We should have had that one, which would be yeah, three can, more. Three extended, more on top of that. You extend it more, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I understand. Hey, you know, and again, these guys are playing at a very high level. We've had a lot of breaks along the way. We've had some big shots. Uh, you can say that. We didn't do it. And let's we'll see what we can do. We got 13. Let's go. I think it just means that we're uh, a very good team and that. Uh, you know, we're hopefully building something special, and I think that, you know, these streaks are meaningless to the guys out here, so you know, I hope it's fun for the fans and the media, but for us, you know, it's it's all about trying to prepare and get better for the playoffs. You mentioned last night that the beard may go. Are you rethinking it? No, I definitely want it to go. It's just a matter of getting some clippers, because I'm scared to put a razor to it right now. Because I know baseball players are really superstitious. Do you have any superstitions? I'm not, no. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that'll be a tough trip for us. And I think, although, um, you know, some of the teams have, have less than 500 records, but, you know, playing them on the road, you know, we have a big target on our back. You know, it's going to be a, you know, a challenge every stop. So I think it's good. I think it's time for us to go out on the road and try to, Stand up for ourselves and our record, and, uh, and keep improving. I think this is the best team I've ever been on. Um, yeah, talent, depth, uh, versatility, chemistry. Definitely, you know, I think those are you know a lot of strengths that we uh, that we have here. Yeah, I mean, in North America, the, play the regular season really doesn't matter for much. You know, you get an extra game at home. 
But other than that, you know, the cult, sports culture here isn't one of rewarding a team for the you know a long stretch of success. It's all about the playoffs. So, you know, we have to play the game, and the game is the playoffs. Is that disappointing to you that the regular season is somewhat diminished here in this? Yeah, I, I wish. You know, um, I think it's a it's a fair indication of, uh, in in many ways, of who the best team is. Um, but that's not the culture, so. That's fine. You know, uh, I like, let's play by these rules and let's see if we can do it. It makes it a great challenge. A little bit, yeah. I mean, they, they caught us on a rough night, a rough day. You know, we had all day travels and snowstorms and what have you, but uh, we can't make no excuses. You know, they, they're playing great basketball. They're, uh, the big three is, is playing good, so we got to bring our A game. Gilbert went off last time for over 50 points. What are you guys going to do to slow him down this time? Uh, if, if he goes for 50, then you know that's that's what he does. But I think the ultimate goal for us is to get a win, and that's that's what we're going in as. Uh, that's that's our focus. How hard is it going to be to extend this winning streak going on the road for five straight? It's going to be tough. You know, it's going to be a challenge for us, but uh, uh, we, we're definitely ready to accept any challenge that that comes our way. So it's, it's going to be a test. Uh, I, I, speaking of dominating the boards, I think I think Sean did did most of that last night. But uh, I, I think with me and Sean, we definitely can do whatever we can to to take up for for Kurt absence. Uh, it's going to be tough because Kurt is a great interior defender. But uh, we we should be able to hold it down for him until he gets back. Your defense is really good. That bunch of Lincoln. There's been a lot of talk about how that's Well, just trying to improve defensively. That's that's been my goal over the past uh, over the past two years is, is to get better defensively. Um, and that's, that's what I think it takes to win a championship is defensive effort. So uh, just trying to get better as the season go along. How much does it mean to you just personally to be a part of all this after what you've been through? It feels great, you know, to finally be back out on the court, uh, being able to to contribute and, and play strong and and good basketball. It, it definitely feels great, and it's, it's been a long time coming. Steve says this is the best team that he's ever played on. Do you agree? With I definitely agree. You know, I I didn't go to college, so. My high school team was uh, was was okay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, since my five years here in the league, it's definitely been the been the best team I've been a part of. What makes it that way? I mean, obviously you guys have talent. You've had talent before, but what makes it the best? Yeah, we're the camaraderie. I think what makes it what makes it fun and and, and keeps everybody you know happy about about playing a game of basketball. Uh, and I, I think that's the main key is the camaraderie, and then also that we all want to improve. You know, we're, we're professionals. Uh, whatever Coach D'Antoni asks, asks us to do, uh, we definitely make the effort to do it. Last night, you were pretty much dominating inside. I know you worked on your outside shot while you were hurt, but how much better of a post player are you now than the person? Uh, I just I just let the game come to me now. I'm more of you know more fundamental minded uh, opposed to just you know. Just taking off and dunking on guys, just using my athletic ability. Uh, I use that still, but <clears throat> I think I'm more more fundamental sound, uh, and that's that's something I really dedicated myself to become more of a, of a fundamental player and let the game come to me. What we saw last night, how much of that is because Kurt's not that dominating post player, post player inside? Uh, it's something I've, I've been trying to do all season. You know, with Kurt, without Kurt, you know, uh, we definitely need Kurt. We can't wait till he gets back, but. Uh, but as of right now, we just got to focus in defensively more, especially on the interior with Kurt's absence. And, and me and Sean are definitely going to going to uh, put the weight on our shoulders. The, the winning streak record is 33 games. Is it hard? I mean, just what you guys have gone through twice this year, just to get to 14, 15. Is it hard to imagine a team winning 33 in a row? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, to win 33, you have to be <clears throat> on the top of your game, night in, night out. You know, it's it's, it's definitely hard to win. 15 to 16 in a row, opposed to 33. Uh, I can't imagine winning 33 straight games.